Tread Talk. We're really excited to have Calvin Lutz with us today. Calvin was going to be with us in January. Unfortunately, uh, had a health issue come up that uh, uh, delayed it. So we're glad to have him here today. And uh, I know you've all been admiring this awesome, awesome Hot Wheels truck on our floor the last six months. So maybe recall the record truck that we had here about a year or so ago. That was a 36, 39, 39 GMC record. And he's working on another project. I'm not going. I'm gonna let him talk about those things coming up. But anyway, Calvin is uh, owner operator of. Um, Accufab. Accufab. I think I've got a little of that fog you were talking about this morning. Yeah. Accufab in, in Topeka, and uh, in his spare time, I don't know how he has any spare time, but he likes making these beautiful creations that we're seeing behind us. So he's going to talk about that. Uh, Calvin was born in Topeka. Uh, spent most of his lifetime there and is married, wife 43 years, I think he told me, has three boys and four grandkids. And anyway, um, he's got an exciting presentation put together for us, so let's give him a warm MDCC welcome. First, I want to thank these fine folks and Doug for, you know, having me. Storing my truck for the winter. <laughs> and, it's, and you folks, I mean, we all have the same disease. We love these cars, and it's, it's, it, you know, we all have something in common. And it's, uh, it's fun to, you know, I've been messing with cars since I could walk, and I love it. And uh, I'll do it till I'm not here anymore. <coughs> Anyway, I don't, I, I used to, you know, restore cars, I'd get an old Chevelle and fix it up and paint it, put wheels and tires on it. That's all fine and that's cool, but I have a really nice metal fabrication shop with laser cutters and stuff, so I can create from scratch stuff that you've never seen before. That truck frame and that wing is all made from scratch. It's the only thing like it on the planet, and I, I, I like that. I like that no one else has one just like it. Sorry, can you hear me better now? Sorry about that. But uh, when I, all I had was that old cab, and So all I had was that old cab, and then this is like the mock-up stage when you, I get an idea and I lay it out on the floor on blocks and see what, you know, stand back and look at it, and it's really that simple. And so when we started off, after I figured out what I wanted to build, then I could draw the stuff in my CAD, I would go right down on the laser, those are the, those are the outside of those two frame rails right there. And it doesn't take long. You, you start tacking stuff together and mocking it up. And there's the frame, welded, and ready to go get painted. So, and from the time I start laying one out to the time it gets to that point, it depends on how busy we are with the shop, but if I got time, I can do that in about a week. Because that's what I am, I'm a production guy, so I can't, I, I, I don't know any other way to do it. But then when you get to the stuff, the wiring and stuff, you know, obviously it slows you down. There's a lot of things that slow you down getting parts, but there's the frame in the paint shop and at my junkie shop. <laughs> but uh, you just, it's just a, a process. Uh, paint it and weld it, or, you know, weld it and paint it back or bolt it back together and it doesn't take that long. I built this truck in three months nights and weekends and that's still running my business in three months but you know, it doesn't always go that smoothly but <clears throat> it's just kind of cool to see how they come along and i i'm a sprint car guy i'm a dirt track guy so i like these old quick change differentials you can see i got two more i'm building a car right now that's using one of those but uh I like to leave a little bit of dirt track car influence in most of my builds because it's, it's what it's my passion is actually sprint car racing and building hot rods. This, if you'll notice, it's got a different carburetor setup on it. That was the engine I had in it when I built it. 
and as Webbers go, they didn't want to play. They would, it didn't run very well, so I yanked it off, put, put the supercharger on it, and that's how it's been ever since. <clears throat> uh, old international trucks are kind of cool. I, my, my, gra my grandpa always had internationals, my dad always had them, so I've got a couple other ones out there that I'm gonna turn into something I'm not sure yet, but I like the old internationals. And it's just, it's just, just a family thing, I guess. <laughs> People and then people say, you know, you don't you don't relate an international harvester to a hot rod. It just <laughs> it doesn't happen. And so, you know, we managed to pull it off. So this is funny. The day this is the first day I actually started it up and it moved under its own power. And I knew the cab was heavy. I knew that I was probably going to need to put some weight in the back of this thing. I put it in gear idling and the back tires are just turning and it's, turning, it's trying to cut a donut in my sock because it needed weight. I ended up putting 400 pounds of metal slugs in the wing of that thing so that it would have some traction. But, you know, it's not scientific. You just, you just build them and go. So this is the day that we went to Bentonville, Arkansas for a Hot Wheels Legends Tour. They had 18 of those shows around the country. And if you were lucky enough to win one of those 18 shows, that blocked you in for the final in SEMA. And if you won the SEMA show, they made a Hot Wheel out of your vehicle, which I was nine years old when Hot Wheels came out, and that would have been the ultimate trophy for me to have a, to have a, a Hot Wheel made out of my truck. <clears throat> it, was, it was quite an honor to, it was an honor to win just the local show and then to get transported to SEMA and be there, that was kind of cool. Now, and I don't, I don't pretend to be, you know, the SEMA cars like Chip Foods, trust me. This is just a, con a Hot Wheels contest. I don't, I don't, I'll never say that I built something to the level that those guys go, those are my heroes. Uh, but, you know, it's unique, one of a kind. That just happened to be at an air show one day, and I said, well, that looks kind of good with my truck. <laughs> And for those of you who remember when my record was here, that, there, is, there she is parked with the old, beside the old record. So, the, I guess the most fun of it is, is, like I said before, creating from nothing. I love doing that. And uh, I don't do body and paint. That's another reason I like to build stuff that I don't have to sit there and fix rust all, all winter before I can paint it. But Let's give Calvin a warm... Thank you. Thank you for being here to talk about this truck. And uh, I'm sure he'll hang around for a little bit. If you want to come up, he'll open doors for you and show you a little bit closer. And you want to check it out. It's actually leaving today. So this is your opportunity to see Get it. these guys around the bar. Yeah. Uh, Calvin's promised me when he gets that one done that we'll be able to borrow it that he's working on now. He said it makes this one, puts this one to shame, he said. If so. I get it to run. If you get to run. I'm sure you can. So. Anyway, thank you all for coming. Uh, be sure to come next month. We've got our Tread Talk going to be on the Nissan GTR Skyline. I know a lot of you are interested in that car. And uh, so that'll be a fun program. That's on May 7th. And uh, so hang around, check out the cars, visit with Calvin, and thank you all again for coming.